Reports of a really large fire and explosion at a Chardon business this morning. 18 fire departments responding to the emergency on US 6. And that's where we find 3 News reporter Danielle Wiggins. Danielle, what can you tell us? What's the latest here? Well, Isabel, let me tell you right now, crews are trying to determine what actually caused this fire here at Interstate Stowing, uh, Interstate Towing, rather, on the border of Chardon and Hamden Township. Now, we arrived here shortly before 1 p.m., and when we arrived, you can still smell smoke in the air. There were multiple fire departments here uh, from a surrounding areas at the towing company responding to the fire. Now, I spoke to the assistant chief of the Hamden Fire Department, Dave Peterson, about what happened, and here's what he had to say. So we were dispatched at 11:17 this morning for a uh, report of explosions in the building and a, a smoke coming from the building. Uh, on arrival of Hamden and Chardon crews, uh, we determined there was a fire in the building uh, in the uh, storage area uh, for vehicles for interstate towing. Uh, the fire was uh, quickly knocked down and uh, confined to uh, that that unit. Now, Peterson says they were able to contain the fire shortly before 1230. The company uses the building to store broken vehicles, and luckily no one was hurt or inside when the fire started. Now, that was that portion of the business. Now, however, there were people inside the business connected to it. Everyone was able to evacuate safely, and Peterson tells me both businesses, they did sustain a smoke damage. And as you can see here, at interstate towing. Now they, again, they used this portion that caught on fire to store uh, vehicles that were involved in accidents. So you can see there was damages to vehicles there, uh, fire damage, as you can see from the cars here. Also, when I spoke to Peterson, he says that uh, they had to take this uh, garage door off to get to the fire inside the storage unit. So you can see this burnt out piece of the garage here uh, laying on the parking lot. And so Isabel US 6 just east of Chardon Square was closed as crews responded to this blaze, but right now it has since reopened. All right, Danielle Wiggins live for us in Chardon. We'll check back in with you at 4:30. Danielle, thank you.